Yes. Yes. You are an epic crusader, my dear child. Let's go with flirtation. Oh my god, this is horrific. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a CK3 mod overview. We're going to take a look at barbershop and modifying physical appearance of your characters. Well, mods that do that, I should say. Because there's nothing more fun than, you know, taking your dude and just totally turning him into something he's not. Because what, what else could be so fun? There we go. There's the emperor of the HRE. He sure looks like an emperor, doesn't he? Okay, for our first mod, we have Character Physical Modify, which I cannot let the pictures go because there are naked people and we don't want to be demonetized. But this is made by Blackship over here and it allows you to change the body shape of your character. So if I come in here, my great, great jester of a man, I'm going to turn on c Physical Modify. Yes, please. And I can come in here. There's 12 more. I can make him grow thin. Get thin, sir. I want you to get as thin as can be. Okay, now that you are as thin as you could be, let's go taller. Become a giant, sir. That's pretty cool. And now I can click on this lovely lady and um, I can give her breast enlargement, which I see as a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, you know, I get hairy too. Why not? But... Yeah, you can do all sorts of things. You can get hairy, get smooth, get weak, get strong. Um, these are the same things. Uh, thin, fat, shorter, taller, and it works. Get shorter. You're going to short. You're going to become a dwarf next to your husband. Um, and then this is pretty good. We can also turn on color modify. Excellent, which gives us more. We can do skin color. Kind of interesting. I mean, I'm not seeing much. I color more red. If we come in and look at him here, he doesn't really look like he has red hair. I don't know if that's doing so much the hair color, eye color, but the fact that you can tell them to get taller or thinner or fatter is pretty cool. So, you know, if you're trying to tell a specific story, you can make your character into whatever you want, which is pretty good considering we do not have a character designer. So. Good job. I would give this maybe an 8 out of 10. Because going in here and doing all these clicks is a little monotonous and it only does a little bit at a time. So it's not something you want to use every single time you get a new ruler, perhaps. But it's still pretty darn good to use. Next up, we have Hair and Beard Variants by Klepta here, which has eight female hairs with jewelry removed and nine male beard variants, which is pretty darn cool. There is even this very epic, epic uh, wizard's beard, I suppose. So let's go take a look. Let's go look at the beards for ourselves first. We currently have a wizard's beard. What else we got? So we have a medium goatee. Nice. There's mutton chops, all sorts of new ones, something pointy a beaded goatee, goatee, something, beaded mustache, and, oh, that's disappointing. Will it show better if I change his clothes? Nope. Where's his epic beard? It's inside of his clothes. Who wears their beard inside their clothes? Okay. Well, I will give this a nine out of 10, at least for the beards. Let's go uh, check out our wife's hairstyles. Do we have some cool stuff? Yeah. Uh, take off your headwear, my dear. No headwear so we can see your hair. Okay. So it's just the uh, hairstyles from in the game, but with the jewelry removed. Okay. I can get behind that. I mean, you know, you want to do tell your story. Okay. That's cool. So yeah, I'd say a 9 out of 10. It does what it wants. It does what it's supposed to. It's not a 10 out of 10 because the wizard's beard um, does not quite go where it should, which I'm not sure if that's a limitation of the modding or if that was an error or if it just doesn't look good unless you don't have clothes on. For our next mod, we have more hair colors, natural, which adds a whole bunch of hair colors. It's done by White Drake UA and they're pretty good. Sadly, it is not compatible with full screen barbershop because it had 
you have to go in and do something in the mod file for full screen barbershop to make it work, which if you see here, I actually did load up full screen barbershop and we have our different colors, which is pretty darn cool, but it does not show full screen barbershop, which we will look at in a moment. Um, someone else did do a mod, which is supposed to make them compatible. We have, I have it on right now. It was made by Fun Gaming 44. It does not seem to be working. It feels like it should. Oh, I mean, load order. Oh, let me try load order. Let me try, switch, see if I can switch that around and let's see if we can get it to work. All right, so I've come here and I've changed my mod setup. So we have more hair colors than full screen barbershop than more hair colors natural, which is the exact order that Fun Gaming said to put it in. So let's go see if it works. All right, so here is the moment of truth. Let's see. It does work. So very good job, Fun Gaming. You made the mods compatible. So we can totally give this guy black hair. And where's my wizard's beard? Excuse me. Oh, whoa, his beard is coming through his stomach. All right, so uh, the one we're looking at right here, this is probably the most popular barbershop mod. Actually, I'm pretty darn sure it is the most popular barbershop mod. And it is Full Screen Barbershop by Agama Day. And basically he took what you could do in debug mode and made it into an official mod and then also lets you put multiple characters on the same screen at the same time. So thank you very much, Agma Day. If you don't know Agma Day, he's also known as Long Game Short, makes great content, and uh, I'm so glad he's made this. He's made some great mods over the years for previous uh, Paradox titles. So, I mean, this is actually the one that gave me the idea to go check out, see what other barbershop mods were out there. So let's go see what people have done making it compatible. So we do have all the hair colors. Let's give you, ooh, we can give you some pinkish hair. It's supposed to be red, I suppose. It looks more pink. I have to, it's supposed to be natural tones. I have to give off points for that uh, one not being so natural. Maybe just black. We give it a full white beard. Yes. And let's add his spouse who is tiny. And I think his spouse, uh, so we can come up here and we do spouse poses. Spouse pose, she is, she is marved with disbelief because she does not know why her husband is so large. And he is, oops, not her. Let's fix that. No, no, no. Grief. Grief. She's crying. And then we go back to main pose and we are here with our main character, our lovely king. He can be pregnant. No, we can make him zealous. Oh, we can give him all the poses. We can change the background. We can make it the gallows. And if you make content on YouTube where you like uh, doing Photoshop stuff, you can totally just give everyone a green screen, a blue screen, a white screen, whatever is easiest for you to uh, remove. Or, you know, you just give them a cool background. Let's, uh, let's go with the gallows again. I think, I think we like that. And yeah, our wife's all sad. We are bold. Oh, look at that. Our beard's actually like emerging from our chest. Now it's inside of our chest. Oh, there we go. War one is coming. It's coming out severely wounded. Any. <laughs> I, uh, I sense problems with this hair and this being such a big giant. Um, oh God, what is this monstrosity? Here we go. War attacker. Yes. And then we can totally switch them around. Make her turn. So she's like sobbing and he's like staring this way. Ha ha, not that far. Then we can add our heir, who is this uh, chumpy little, chubby little guy missing a face. And he is marred with shame. He has done something shameful. Where are your hands, sir? <laughs> no wonder. They're so sad. They're disappointed in this guy. And then you can capture a lovely screenshot. So, you know, if you want to do an after action report, you want to just show off your characters on a post on Reddit, this is the best mod. Absolute best. And um, you can sure get some funny looking things with the other mods I showed you. Go take a look at two more mods, but we're going to have to say goodbye to our lovely uh, Emperor of Glitterhoof here because... 
he does not get to follow into this other mod world. Okay, for this next mod, we need to be in observer mode, which I'm, I'm just so happy CK3 has observer mode for single player. But if we go take a look, we're using barbershop and observer mode, which is made by BWFIQ. And let's go take a look. So we are here, we're in, let's go click on Hungary. Hello, kid. Excuse me, I can't do anything with you, but, oh, look at this button. Click to open barbershop. <gasps> Hello, you need to be a crusader, young fellow. So this next mod is called Barbershop for Everyone, and it's a received award, so I'm assuming it works, unlike our previous one. It is made by Wilsonator. So we are currently the um, Sultan of the Seljuks, but let's go up here. No, 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 we're fighting the Byzantines. This Byzantine guy, he looks too powerful. He needs to be in prison rags. And he will have a Phrygian cap. Yes. Um, let's go with the uh, Raider. No, 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 no. Let's go with um Page Boy. Yes. And for your beard, you will have no beard, sir. Um, and no cloak. Yes, apply changes. And it works! It sticks very nice. That's is how you will look when we capture you and stick us stick you in our dungeon. So, I think that was a very nice mod. So, that was our look at the lovely, lovely barbershop mods. And I do have to say that my favorite has to be the full screen barbershop by Agma Day. Because they can just do so much. And also, we can just totally give our uh, little baby here a wonderful, wonderful beard. Because, I mean, he's already inbred. If you don't know this kid, uh, he was our final kid in the circle achievement. Yes! Yes! You are an epic crusader, my dear child. Let's go with flirtation. Oh my god, this is horrific! What? This... Oh my god, this is... This... This is killing me. This poor child. He looks so cute, and yet, and yet. Those were the barbershop mods. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at them. If you want links to them on Steam, there will be links in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Remember, if you like this content and you want to see more like it, please go check out my Patreon page. It helps me make more videos. Bye, guys.